Here we have solving an equation that can be written in quadratic form, problem type one. So essentially what you're looking for is, is the power on this expression doubled in the first expression. So here my power is two, and if I double that, I get four. So this is a quadratic type. The same thing is happening over in the other example. If you take this exponent of this whole expression, it's one, and if you double that, you get this exponent, which is two. So you're taking the power of the whole expression. So how do we solve those that are of the quadratic form? You take the middle term, and actually this should be equal to zero before you even begin. So I'm gonna move the 36 over, and it'll become positive 36. Now I have a clear middle term. This middle term will be changed, okay? So what you'll do is you'll say let some other letter, we'll use u, let u equal y squared. Whatever that middle term is, that middle expression, not the coefficient, just the expression with the variables in it, okay? So what that means then is that this guy is u squared because if I square this side and I square this side, I get y to the fourth. So I'm gonna substitute. Instead of using y to the fourth, I'm gonna use u squared minus 13, and instead of using y squared, I'm gonna use u. And then because there's no number in front, I actually can factor this, and I will factor it if it's at all possible, because it is faster. So here I can use u minus nine and u minus four. If I multiply those, I get positive 36. If I combine them, I get negative 13. So I get u minus 9 equal to 0, u minus 4 equal to 0. If I add 9, I get u equal to 9 and u equal to 4. And then what you do is you back sub. Because the problem didn't ask you to solve for u. The problem asks you to solve for y. So you back sub. What was u? u was y squared. So instead of u equal to 9, it's actually y squared equal to 9. And same thing over here. This is actually y squared equal to 4. And how do you solve those equations? You take the square root on both sides. You get y equals plus or minus the square root of 9, which means y equals plus or minus 3. Over here, you get y equals plus or minus 2, or actually y equals plus or minus the square root of 4 which is plus or minus the square root of 2. So you have four answers. 3, negative 3, 2, and negative 2. Four solutions there. Now similarly you can do that for the next example. However your middle expression it is already equal to 0. This is the coefficient of the middle term, which means this thing is your middle expression, okay? So you're gonna say let u equal that entire middle expression. And you can put the one or not, it's up to you. And if I square this side, I get u squared. If I square this side, I get this expression. And so then you substitute. I'm going to take this whole thing, and instead of writing that whole thing, I'm going to write u squared minus 16. And instead of writing this whole expression, I'm going to write just u plus 64 equal to 0. There's no number in front, so I am going to factor this. I get u minus 8 and u minus 8, which means u minus 8 squared. If you take the square root of both sides, you get u minus 8 equals, there's no such thing as plus or minus 0. 0 is neutral. So it's just one answer, 0. And then if you add 8 to both sides, you get u equal to 8. 
but the problem didn't ask you to solve for you. So you do have to back sub. What did you represent? You represented y squared minus 17. So really the problem we're trying to solve is y squared minus 17 equal to eight. And so then here I'm gonna add 17 to both sides. That's gonna give me 25. And then I can take the square root of both sides. I get y equals plus or minus the square root of 25 or y equals plus or minus five. So we get two solutions, five and negative five. And so both of those problems were solved using um, the quadratic form. So in order to solve those, you have to do um, substitution. And but you just can't forget to back sub after you've solved for the substituted variable, back sub and then solve some more.